In this video, we are going to be diving into the disability access at Disneyland Paris. Can I take my assistance dog? Is there accessible parking? Is there a disability access pass? How does it even work? What's the access like in the hotel? <laughs> haven't seen already I have done me flying to Disneyland Paris and I have also done all of the ride transfers in Disneyland Paris too so you can go and check those out if you haven't already. As a disabled person the first thing you think about when you book a trip to Disney is is there a disability access pass how does it work? The Disneyland Paris disability access pass was recently changed and there are now two types of passes. It's all very confusing, very in-depth, but luckily there is an amazing Facebook group out there which I joined. I will leave their name here. If you have any questions, literally within a couple of minutes, someone will answer your question for you. There are two different passes that you can apply for. There is the priority pass. This is my disability access pass. And as you can see, I have been um, marked as blue, which means that I um, can't walk off the ride if there is an emergency. And there is the easy access pass. You can apply for your pass a month before your visit, or you can actually get your pass on the day in the park. With the priority pass, that gives you priority access but not immediate access to the rides, the shows, the parades and the fireworks. It also gives you priority access in restaurants and shops, which I'll talk about a little bit later on. Now, from my understanding, with the easy access pass, it's a little bit like the DAS pass in Florida, where you turn up to the ride, they book you in, and they give you a return time to come back for the ride. So it kind of is like a placeholder in the queue. That is my basic understanding of it. It is a lot more in depth don't take this as 100% gospel. Do your research, join the Facebook group. There is a lot of support out there to make sure that you get the right card for you. Okay, so now we've just arrived at the check-in point before we go into the Magic Kingdom to get our bags checked in the security and there are some scary looking dogs around here. Uh, and then what is always so great about Disney is that there is a line for people with disabilities as well so you don't have to queue with the masses. What I love about Disneyland Paris is that all of the barriers, no matter which one you go to, they are all um, accessible to people with disabilities. There aren't little smaller ones for people who aren't disabled, so you can go through any ones, which is great for when you're coming out at night, you can go through any kind of turnstile or gate. Behind me here in the main square is City Hall and that is where you can go to get your disability pass and get it all sorted out. But you can have it done if you're staying at a Disney hotel which saves a lot of time and energy if you can go there. Also City Hall is a lot quieter later on at night so if you're arriving later on in the day you might want to go there later on. Here is the disabled cornered off area for the fireworks and the parade I think. You have to show your um, disability card to enter it and then you can sit in there. We turned up to the fireworks about an hour beforehand to make sure we got the best spot. And we're on Jen, we're, on. we're live on Mickey camera. If there's one thing that Disney do best, it's the fireworks and we're here in our own little cornered off area for people with disabilities which is great because there is loads of space and we get an absolutely fantastic view. I literally cannot wait to see these fireworks tonight. However, when we went for the, for the um, parade, we came a bit late and we couldn't make it up to the accessible area so we had to sit with everybody else. Uh, it's, gone, it's gone crazy. Mayhem, people running around everywhere trying to jostle for the best it's spot. It's gone round. People jostling for the best possible spot. Look, there's more. Look, they're going to get turned back. Look, they're going to track. Oh, you got that. Oh, we're dead. Too bad. Oh, now you got a quick run up there and do it. We're just trying to get a glimpse of Cinderella or Kermit the Frog. It's absolutely wild down here, Sean. <laughs> no one can get moved. You can't get a seat. Tickets here are selling like hotcakes. People are climbing over children, kicking them out of the way just to get the best spot. <laughs> People are standing on top. 
copper children just so they can look over the top. <laughs> Disney without a parade. Didn't they look lovely, June? <laughs> it's the one everyone's been waiting to see. It's the one and only Princess Aurora. It's all the princesses. Oh, and as you would imagine, she's looking Let's cut to the action. And to wrap it up, Jen. Oh, that was absolutely sensational, wasn't it, Sean? I think it was. One of the questions that kept coming up quite a lot from you guys is, what's it like to wheel around Disney? Well, those um, mini drive things would be good, wouldn't they, for a, around here? Yeah, a smart drive or a smooth, for sure. Really helpful. I really wish I had one. Mm. I should have just got one. You've got Daisy and me. Yeah. <laughs> it just helps for that little bit extra, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. It's just like the uneven bits, like especially where it's just like a bit uphill and stuff. It's a bit hard going, especially when it's all day. Now, if you have seen my previous video on transferring on and off the rides, you will have seen that all of the rides are clearly marked out as to where the priority access line is for people with disabilities. They're really clearly signposted and it's very, very well organized. Something that I don't think is available in um, Disney Florida is that if you have a disability you actually have priority when you're going to get food in the restaurants sometimes if they spot you. We went to Casey's Corner and there was a huge queue coming out of the door um, to get burgers and luckily a very nice cast member saw me she picked me out of the queue and then she took me to an accessible till where I could order my food and then she then took me into the restaurant where they have priority tables for people with disabilities which I think is fantastic because you know some people need to take uh, medication with food <laughs> A little bit of a tip here for you, if you're not seeing the parade, that's the time to get your food, especially if you're going in busy periods. Eating in our hotel was really great. They have a choice of restaurants with loads and loads of food and the cast members were so helpful as well. They even gave me a special tray so that I could go up to the buffet and put things on my lap. It's just those little touches that make such a huge difference and really make me feel welcome as a disabled person. In the shops, if you have a disability and you have an access pass, you may be entitled to not having to queue at the tills. That is if they see you. Sometimes I queued, sometimes I didn't. But they did have accessible tills in nearly every single shop, which you know me, I love an accessible till. Now we stayed in Disney's Newport Bay Club Hotel, <laughs> which was lovely. It's all nautical themed. It's kind of the middle of the range hotel and we loved it. It is looking a little bit tired and is in need of a little bit of a refresh. But other than that, it was very clean. The staff were really helpful and we really enjoyed our stay and we would go back. We checked out the leisure facilities which were really nice. They were very basic but they were completely accessible which obviously I loved. Yes, I do. It's so basic. I didn't do it on purpose, I swear. <laughs> I can't tell where the towel begins and where you're the king. <laughs> Alright, so now you've got to transfer into another uh, wheelchair. Oh, well, now. Right. Is that the chair? Here we go, yeah. Okay. That's alright, so we'll leave your chair here. Yeah, I hope it's alright. That's super, I think. Off you go. Okay. Off you go. <laughs> Do I look weird? No. No more weird than normal. Okay. Oh no, now it's all wet. <laughs> so free. You're in. And they do have a hoist. 
if needed. Yeah. So we made it into the pool. And I don't think we've been swimming as a family for a long, long time. So this is really nice. No. And the access was really quite good, wasn't it? Yeah. So yeah. 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 <laughs> steam room and sauna which I was able to get into. The body dryer to do maybe. Look, that one's down it, you can raise them at different levels. Now, if you follow me over on Instagram, you may have already seen my room tour. We stayed in a wheelchair accessible room. It wasn't too far from the main areas of the hotel, but it was a little bit of a hike on carpet, but the room was lovely and accessible, really spacious, really clean. The shower was just oh, so nice. <laughs> and um, we, we really enjoyed staying there. Again, a little on the tired side, but really liked, we really liked it. Let's move over to some quick, fun disability facts. If you're driving, they have plenty of accessible parking and you can use your disability badge. If you have medication that needs to be kept cool, these can be kept cool in the first aid centers. Assistance dogs and guide dogs are welcome at Disneyland Paris. I'm not sure I saw as many as I did when I went to Florida. You do need all, to have all of the appropriate documentation, so check that out on the website before you go. They can use the gardens to do their business, but some rides may not be suitable for them. <laughs> Did you know they actually have an animal care centre? Don't know too much about it, it might be something for you to check out. It is on a first come first serve basis, but you may be able to leave your precious little pooch there for a few hours. If you do need adult changing spaces, these are available at the first aid centers. I found the toilets to be okay, not the best. Um, they're very similar to the toilets in Florida in that they are in that the accessible stall is in with all of the other toilets, which is different to the UK, didn't like it, but there is um, a separate accessible toilet near City Hall if that's what you prefer. I hope that you have found this video useful. If I've missed anything and you have any gems of tips, then be sure to leave them down below. Check out my other Disney videos and I look forward to seeing you in my next one. Thanks for watching, bye! We've just arrived back at the house from our little Disney trip and we're just going to go in and see for the first time all the new floor and all the work completed and I don't know how I'm feeling but I'm just praying to God that I like it and I've made the right decisions. Come here, look through! Oops, sorry.